turning a repeating decimal into a mixed number percent. There are some repeating decimals that you need to be familiar with, indicated by these three columns. Uh, yeah, that's too much. How about if we just focus on this column, the nines? Okay, notice that 1 over 9 is 0 0.11111 or 0 0.1 repeating. That little bar over the top means repeating. 2 over 9, 0 0.2, no, 0 0.2 bar, 2 repeating. 3 over 9, 0.3 repeating. 4 over 9, 0.4 repeating. 5 over 9. So you can see that if you see a single digit repeating on the right side of the decimal, it's that number over 9 if I want to write it as a fraction. Let's look at a specific problem. So I want to rewrite 0 0.6 repeating as a mixed number percent. So I need to move the decimal two spaces to the right to go from a decimal to percent. Okay, that's probably the best way to start this. So 0 0.6 repeating really means 0 0.6666666 and so on. So now when I move the decimal over two spaces, I end up with 66.6 .6 repeating percent. Okay, so I've gone from decimal to percent. Now, that's, remember we talked about the single repeating digit, so 0.6 repeating, means that digit over 9. So that becomes 66 and 6 ninths percent. Well, 6 ninths in this case was reducible. So we have 66 and 2 thirds percent. So now we've taken that number, 0 0.6 repeating, and written it as a mixed number percent. 66 and 2 thirds percent. So let's take a look at this one, 0 0.1555555, so 0 0.1 and 5 is repeating. So we follow the same step, move the decimal over two spaces. So again, only the 5 is being repeated. So 0 0.155555, we move the decimal over two spaces. So now we have 15.5 repeating percent. I'll just move the decimal over two. And then a single digit repeating is that number over nine. So now we have 15 and 5 ninths percent reduce if possible, but not in this case. One last one. 0 0.073 repeating. So the 3 keeps repeating. So 0 0.0733333333. Again, we're going to move the decimal over two spaces. So we have to need to see what we have. Move the decimal two spaces, which gives us 7.3 repeating percent. And of course, a single digit repeating is that number over 9. So we've got 7 and 3 ninths percent. Reduce if possible. 3 ninths is actually 1 third. So we have 7 and 1 third percent. 